Hey guys and welcome back to another stream of Dragon's Dogma 2. Last night we had a very short stream. I started very late. Uh, I had some problems starting off, not with the game, just in general. And um, so I decided to do this afternoon. It's now midday for me over in Ireland. Uh, another quick stream. So I hope you're going to enjoy it. Uh, have a good time with it. This game is actually so far very impressive. It looks amazing. And um, I really like the combat, everything, how it feels so far. But we only have played for about two hours. So today we officially start our journey, I guess, when we uh, leave the starter village, you know, and do the initial quests uh, on the journey to see if we are the Arisen. We have to go and prove that we are the Arisen. That's our quest in the moment. So, um, yeah, there's also a few things that I actually found out um, messing around with some of the settings, not settings, uh, with some of the options we have here. And there is some interesting um things here, especially when it comes to information so if you look at the history tab you actually see all the npcs that you met which is pretty cool and you can see also the likes they have so in this game you can give items to people and um i don't know if you can romance them i have no idea but i know that you can gain favor standing with them which i have no idea what the actual effect is of this if you get um say with a, with a guy that sells items if you get better prices if it's just these random npcs if they give you special quests maybe i have no idea but if you ever wonder um like this one doesn't have a like because she's a pawn i guess so pawns you can't really befriend in that way but uh say phil whoever he is yeah if we want to give him something we give him beautiful items and fancy items or something yeah and uh, so there's a lot of information um available here in that history tab of course there's also the tutorial logbook you know which is everything for yourself you know that you can access um then you have the adventure logbook um which is pretty cool as well so you can see the experience you can see um information about pawns um npcs in general like that you met um, how many you have encountered so there's some nice statistics here as well and then uh, the file logbook which is empty for some reason i'm not sure what that is so maybe that is things that we find in the game or there might be a technical thing, the fine logbook. I have no idea. I'm not really sure. So currently, we are on one quest where we um, need to affirm that we are the actual Arisen. And um, then we have another quest here, the Dragon's Wake. So, But we're going through the village. And we're going to pick up every side quest that we can find just your to get into the spirit Arisen. of the game. Has ought yonder caught your eye? <laughs> Whoever created Scarlet... She's a chatterbox. Well, so is Batsnack, my, my, my pawn. She's a chatterbox as well. Um, Fade, how are you? Just popping in saying hi and leave a, leave a like. Can't stay. Don't want spoilers. Don't worry about this, Fade. Absolutely. Totally understand. Thank you so much. Um, good morning, H. Uh, to how are you? Um, uh, almighty. Good afternoon. Oh, for you, it's uh, afternoon as well. Very good. So, there are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Um, also, I figured out how to show the stats. So we can actually see on GeForce Now, Control N, you can actually see um, the stats that the game is running. And you can see, you can minimize it a little bit. So we can have that on every now and then so you can actually see how the game performs, uh, if that's what you're interested in. Um, especially if we're in a village when it's not that important to see everything. Um, we can have that there and then we can uh, turn it off again. So, but every now and then having a look at it, see how it performs. Now, I did change around some settings. One of the things that I noticed is um, if your graphics card is actually powerful enough, I don't think you should ever have um, DLSS on. I don't think you should ever have it on because it makes the game look awful. Yeah. And uh, I noticed that um, yesterday when I played, when I rewatched the stream, I said, God, why does the game look so low graphics? And when I... When you turn this on, yeah, even on quality, yeah, what happens is it reduces the actual quality of the game. And you can, look how fuzzy everything looks. You see that? So this is actually really bad. Now, it does look fuzzy because there's other options you can then change to make it unfuzzy. But to me... Personally, that is not worth a couple of frames. I mean, I can. The, to, to me, DLSS is only useful, unless I misunderstand it, if you have a graphics card that can't quite cope with a lot of things. So if you have a 2080, which is the recommended uh, a graphics card, which is pretty borderline, yeah? It means you can pr play pretty much everything on high, but you can't really 
um, play played on everything like max, you know, with Uber settings. For that, you need like a 3080 or something. Yeah. Now, assuming the game is optimized correctly, I'm not talking about this game, just in general. So to me, DLSS is something that is only useful when you can't cope with the game's performance, which should never be the case if you have a graphics card, which is way beyond the required spec. So turning DLSS on when you have, like, say, a 4090, I think, is complete rubbish because you're actually reducing the quality of your game. So turning it off makes a hell of a lot more sense because everything starts looking actually properly sexy. And um, the other thing you have to make sure is that you turn on then, if you turn DLSS off, is um, the this here, image quality. You want to max that out because... This will give you half the resolution. It looks absolute garbage, yeah? So for some reason that goes down. And I don't know what rendering, select the method rendering. I don't know exactly what that is. Interlaced. Ah, okay. So which looks better, interlaced or progressive? I think interlaced looks a bit clearer. So let's try that. Yeah, let's try that and see what that looks like. So again, my main point is, unless I misunderstand the technology, DLSS, is completely useless if you want high quality gameplay, if you have a graphics card that is way beyond the required specs. Because you're just hurting yourself. You're just hurting your fidelity of your gameplay, in my opinion. Because um, I noticed that with other games as well, uh, because I'm using a 4080 here on GeForce Now, that as soon as you uh, uh, go to top quality and you turn DLSS on, everything starts looking like, like washed out. And uh, it's not good. So, um, I own Avatar FOP, it has all the DLS stuff and frame gen, etc. I have top and it runs twice as fast with all that stuff off. Exactly, exactly, that's my point. Yeah, so I don't think DLSS is of any use to any graphics card that is way beyond uh, requirements. Now, CPU is important as well because if your CPU is the bottleneck, then it doesn't really matter, you know, uh, how good your graphics card is. So, with this game, for example, specifically you want to have a CPU that's way beyond the recommended because it's really CPU hungry, very CPU hungry. And um, the CPU will become your bottleneck before your graphics card is, if you have like something like a 3060 or something. So a lot of people who probably have performance issues with really top of the range graphics card might realize they're just about meet the requirement for the CPU or they're just above it, but they're pretty close to it. And that's why they probably find their performance issues. Uh, it's not their fault, it's the game's optimization, but that's that's the problem most likely because the CPU is is very important for this game. Let's actually go in here. We seem to have a quest here. I don't know if the quest is here on the um, on this. No, it's not. Okay, so let's well have met, a look sir. and talk to our How friend here. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? And let's talk to you, I guess. In my line of business, patience is key. Um, top GPU, I have no idea when it comes to AMD, but uh, like like I said, it, 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 in a couple of months when I'm uh, when I'm buying my computer, um, if I'm if I'm gonna buy it in a couple of months, if I buy it later, it might be already a next gen CPU coming out. But right now, if I would buy it today, it would be a fourteen nine hundred K i nine and a fourteen ninety because again, I, like I said yesterday, I would go with a fourteen ninety if you can have the extra money spent because games seem to be coming out for consoles mainly and then are so terribly optimized for PC that you just need that much power to compensate for all that crap. So uh, I think if you buy a brand new PC today and you have the money, you might as well hang on and save that little bit extra for, for that for the top of the range graphics card, to be honest, because uh, it's terrible we have to compensate for bad optimization, to be honest, but it is what it is. And it seems that that seems to be the new standard when it comes specifically to AAA games. For some reason, it's even worse with AAA games than with AA games. So when you look at things like Outcast, um, The New Beginning, and um, Alone in the Dark, they are not as badly optimized as AAA games, which is weird. Yeah, because you would think if the AAA companies have way more money to, 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 you know, to do things differently. So yeah, I don't know. There, maybe it's the technology. I don't know. Maybe it's the technology. So, um, and it's not actually the developer's fault, but it's like the Unreal Engine updates or something. I have no idea whatever they're using. I have no idea what this is running on. So, um, okay, he doesn't seem to have Do a quest, come again. but it seems that there is a quest marker here, though. 
Oh, that's not a quest marker. That's the apothecary. Apotha? Apothecary? I don't know. Uh, marker. That's right. So I got that mixed up. Shall we see where it leads? No, no, no. We don't. No, we don't need to go to the ladder. But the way I want to go is, um, there's a quest marker here actually. Um, it's in the building though. Okay, so there's definitely a quest marker. Huh. Is it upstairs? Oh, what is that? Oh. That was just copper ore. Oh, very nice. Copper ore is actually really handy. So I'm trying to pick up all the quests here in this place. But yeah, we picked already the chest. So what is the quest marker for here? Or is it actually not in the... That is so strange. Oh, what is this? Oh, a Seeker's Token. There are 240 of these tokens scattered across the land, hidden in all sorts of out-of-the-way and unexpected places. Bring them to a guild hall, and you will receive special rewards. Now and then, as your collection progresses, you must leave no stone unturned in a corner of the world unexplored if you would complete your collection. Okay. Was that it? No, it wasn't I it. I we'd never find one. Our oh, look at that. Grows. Interesting. I think we die if I we fall off here. I have to inform my own master of this. Oh, this is awesome. Did the pawns just learn about this? Hey, fireworks. How are you? About done was Intel. I bought an, uh, uh, my motherboard uh, blew it up. Uh, plural salty. Yeah, I don't know. I, I always had bad experience with AMD. Uh, I used to buy AMD a lot. And what I found with AMD, personal experience, it's anecdotal, I know, is that the stats on paper always look good, but I always had problems. I either needed to wait longer for a game to be compatible, I needed to wait with drivers. Games usually had more problems with AMD setups than they did with Intel setups. I, I constantly felt like I was just that little bit behind, yeah? Uh, it, like, always catching up with the race, yeah? And I was like, that's it, I'm going Intel. So eight years ago, nine years ago, I bought this PC, GTX 1080, i7-5820K, top of the range at the time, and it literally lasted me 10 years nearly without any problems. I, I'm only now, 20, the end of 2023, beginning of 2024, with the release of the uh, mainstream release, I guess, for most games, with the requirements going up to the 2060s and 2080s, that is now only the first time I'm starting to not be able to play games on, the t on my setup. And that's why I'm using GeForce now. So um, I, 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 can't, I never had that experience with AMD. With AMD, I felt every six months I was falling behind. It, it, was ter it felt terrible. This could grant us an edge so in battle if we use I said, it well. screw that. And I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm do, I don't build my own PCs. I buy them um, through something called PC Specialist, which means I pay maybe 10%, 15% more than I would if I built it all myself. But you know what? This PC was built by them. I, the only thing I ever had to do is because I upgraded my um, more SSDs and I upgraded, actually originally I bought the 1060 graphics card, sorry, and I upgraded to the 1080, I, had, I needed a new power supply. That was the only thing that I ever had to have done on my PC to get the power supply exchanged. And otherwise than that, it was running 24 seven up to now for nearly 10 years. So I, I could never say that about an AMD setup ever. So, you know, but again, that's anecdotal personal experience. Um, time is never flowing in river. Oh, okay. So people are unlikely to remain in the same place. Yeah, that makes sense. Of course. Yeah. Can nightfall you will be able to see further than the ground at your feet in the onset of darkness? Yeah, yeah. We have to go and sleep until the next morning. Some items. Oh, that is nice. So things like apples will actually rot. Oh, that's pretty cool. Certain objects and structures that can be destroyed by your attacks will regenerate after a set amount of time. That is actually pretty cool. I like that. So you can re-farm an area. Oh, yeah, look at the frames jumping like it's crazy. Um, um, now, I only play 1080, yeah? So I don't even need a 1490, to be honest, yeah? But uh, I just found that games are so terribly optimized, I just rather go full out, full out you know, and that's it. Oh, the chest, nice. Waystone shards are treasures to be prized. Oh, Though sweet. Only when made whole can they work their magic. So I got we two shards by my pawns, which is actually a really it. nice system. So the pawns have this reward system now. Um, so I could be farming shards by going back to the pawn, st pawn stone, whatever it's called, 
and get rid of Ella and um, Scarlet and rehire two others of the same uh, vocation and then get more of those shards because um, that seems to be the default reward for uh, journeying with... Um, you see, there is again. There, I can see it on the map that there is something there supposed to be, but I can't see what is there. I don't see the... That is so strange. Or oh, maybe here? So how come the map shows me that there is a quest, but then there isn't? I mean, are we not just going back to where we came from earlier here? Yeah, this is where the chest is. So, that is so strange. Oh, okay. Let me see. We can probably jump from here over to here. Look, yeah, nice. master, a treasure chest. Yes. We shall have to find a way to reach it. I did. Ah, oh, brilliant. Whatever that is, I have no idea, but it looks amazing. Uh, so let's see what that is. I also found out control B brings me straight into my inventory. Um, oh, a grimoire. Um, I'm still on a DDR4 system, yes. Um, <clears throat> yeah, again, if you have a good experience with AMD, absolutely. I'm pretty sure AMD is like Intel that certain CPUs and certain GPUs combinations work better than others. Um, you know, just the way it is, you know, I have no idea. Uh, Biggles, how are you? Georgian, um, you're going to be pleasantly surprised when you change your PC. A lot has changed in the last 10 years. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. But again, I'm trying to be good. I'm saving up uh, with a bit of a buffer so that after I spent my PC, I still have enough money left in my YouTube account, you know, for uh, that I saved up for the last four years, nearly, I think, um, uh, just using it to pay bills and, um, you know, saving up whatever is left over every month. And so it's not a lot of money I make, so that's why it takes so long to save up for something like that. But um, it's it's slowly coming together. So I just want a bit of a buffer that I can keep paying my bills from that. I do have a job, which would be enough to pay the bills, but it, it would be a bit tight. So I use the, 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 you know, the support from YouTube that I get from the ad revenue to, to balance the, the, the bills and all that, you know. So kits, kits are not cheap, <laughs> you know yourself. Um, so whatever, whenever you can have a chance to get some extra, you know, from a second job or whatever, then you do it, you take it. I used to work a physical second job, actually, like doing security in, a, in, in the stadiums. And uh, that was just too wrecking. That was just terrible. And you end up spending most of that money. Did you ever notice that when you have a second job, something that's more like that, you always end up going for drinks after work and you just spent the money you just earned in your second job. And I'm like, OK, that doesn't work well. <laughs> anyway. Um, So uh, that will have a quest, but not yet. I'm still wondering. Oh, I think it's an NPC. Yeah, maybe it's the marker is there, but the NPC is not there yet. So these grimoires, are they one-off spells or does it mean I can learn them then? I wonder. So how do I use it? So if I, a grimoire that casts a spell upon being read, usable even by those incapable of magic. So they're like scrolls in other games that are one-off usage. So you can't really learn anything. Oh, okay. Interesting. That is actually very interesting. Um, this is the seeker token. This is resources. Oh no, don't discard. Give them to um, butt snack. Yeah, and then give that to. I actually I will keep them in my inventory just to try them out. I guess. Okay, so how do we get out of here? There's the roof and... So I'm gonna turn that thing on the top right off once we leave town. I'm just leaving it on so people can see about the performance and everything. And because there's always so many questions around that and it saves me constantly checking my little numbers that nobody can see. Okay, so let's have a look and see um, if we can find any more quests here in the village. Oh, how do... Yeah, so now that 1, 2, 3, 4 is my actual pawns, yeah, how do I use um, 
my healing items and everything. Oh, if I press control. Oh, look at that BRTN. So lantern on is R. Oh, that's pretty cool. How do I map those? Go to items menu. Yes. Okay, so how do I map those though? Equipped. Ah, you equip them. No. So what is if I want this mapped? How do I map this to a key? So control maybe, and then R? No. So how do I assign these? What am I to do? He really ought to have returned by now. Yeah, so may maybe it automatically assigns whatever is your best healing item. I have no idea. And then once you use that, it gets the next one. Mm. Not really sure. Couldn't live we'll with see. Myself. And even if I wouldn't be streaming, I probably would go for a 4090 and uh, 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 buying a new PC that I know it's going to have to last me for the next eight years or so. Because um, I don't go drinking, I don't go out, I don't have a social life really. That like, Gaming is my hobby. So even if I wouldn't do content or wouldn't stream, I would still play games every night, you know, because it's just what I do. And. Uh, I will always do that. Like, if I happen to be alive when I'm 80, I will still play games. It's simple as that. Yeah, it's something that I always enjoyed and always did. And it will never change. So other people like to go to the pub with their friends, go play golf. I, I, that's just not for me, you know. I like spending time with my family, but once they had enough of me, you know, then that's usually how it is. Okay, I don't think we need our lamp here. Because everybody else has a bloody light on. But he wants to talk to us. Ah. You've returned. Good timing, too. I have questions for you. Oh, do you? First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? Yeah, I could, yeah. My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? You and me both, kicks, yes. And I don't mind this, you know? I mean, uh, it, it, you do feel like the odd one out, to be honest. Uh, when you when we go into f to parties or friends or something, you know, they I don't have anything in common with any of those people. They're all proper adults, if you want to call it like that. You know, they talk about politics and sports, and and I just go, uh huh, yeah, uh huh, yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I, it's it's just something I never had any interest in. You know, and is it immature? I don't know. I don't care. You know, I'm I, I have a proper job. I I write code. I I'm a software engineer. Like, you know, I'm, of course, you know, I'm an adult, but. I think people are interested in different things, and that's what it is. Um, okay, I need some time because I actually want Very to go with well. you in the morning. Speak I don't want to go in the middle of the night because that will probably be terribly bad for me right now. I'm I'm still only a little spud. I'm not a proper hardcore adventurer just yet. So let me um, check out. No, I don't have any money yet to buy anything. So let me go to the inn and have a little nap until the morning. Oh. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. He had a quest, I think. I said no to earlier. Oh, how come? Oh, this is so weird. In the morning, he said he had a quest, and I spoke to him, but I, I wanted to wait until we were streaming, and I said no, and I would test it. You can talk to him again to get it, but now he's not offering it to me. Oh, interesting. Very well. There is no wrong choice. But I shan't take up any more of your time. Yeah, 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 don't worry about it. Okay, so let's go to the inn, have a little nap, and then um, in the morning we're having waffles. Actually, random houses, chests, maybe? No? Okay. Oh, uh, apologies, Master. My mind was a thousand leagues away. Who lives here? Nobody. Okay. There we go. There's the inn. I couldn't live with myself. Where was I headed? Here at the inn, we also offer. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage. Oh, both hang on. Myself. Did we not have a free rest right, somewhere? At me. Oh. Did you need something? It's very expensive right now. I thought there were. Hang on a second, because uh, let's talk to him. This could be quest. better, but I'm scraping by. Well, it should be okay. You're charging fifteen hundred gold, like Do for come again. for a flipping room, like. Jeez, you're more expensive than the hill. May have this ladder um, is here for a reason. After you arisen. I thought there was a play. Oh, you see now there's three quest markers. This is even more confusing. 
Is it down there somewhere? The beach? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna stop following those pretend quest markers for now. Um, let's spend 1500. Let's just sleep here. It doesn't matter. We're gonna find enough. Here gold. at the inn, we also offer changes of okay. I get so yeah. few customers, you see. I can manage both roles myself. Rest Getting morning. proper rest is an important duty in its own right. I named my character Buttsnack. Just say that politics are boring. Buttsnacks out. <laughs> yeah. And, and people are just so very opinionated. It's it's kind of uh, it's go, um, it's like a competition, Hi, like nearly. Yeah. So you go to like we went to a birthday bigger. party or whatever, and it was cool. Like you know, and the people were really nice. But um, there's certain people that I watch people like, you know, because that's I'm, I'm a stalker when, when it comes to being at parties. Yeah. And the amount of people that are just more interested in sounding smarter than everybody else. Like, yeah, you have people trying to change topics to what they know about just so they can be smart. And and then you watch them talk. And whenever somebody has a different opinion, they basically talk to them like they're accepting it and they move on. But what they're really doing is telling them that their opinion is wrong and that they know better. And it's that whole competitive thing in the social life that I just have no interest in. Mayhaps this time I went looking for it. It's just that whole, whatever you call it, peacocking like equivalent of, of social behavior. It's just that just drives me mad. I'm like, I don't care for that. Okay, so let's go down to the area and uh, talk to you, man. Um, Okay, now I will come with you. Oh, before I do, let me talk to this dude again and see if he now has that quest. Because he was asking me to help him rebuild or something. Hmm. Ah, you've returned. Here to help? Yes, you see, now he does it. Excellent. You're a good sort. I'll not soon forget this. Here's what I need from you. A bask of Saurians has made their nest outside the village. Though Got to go, kick. Sorry for the name change. <laughs> no worries. Uneasy. Um. Oh wow. Okay. So yeah, they're 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 rather close. Uh, the village. So they're yet to, to cause any harm. Their proximity makes the village uneasy. So you just want me to kill them? I'd like to enlist your aid in driving them away. Is that Billy Connolly? That voice. I know he doesn't sound really Scottish, but he has he sounds like Billy Connolly. Left them by the village entrance. Use them to send the Saurians scattering. Saurians are monsters of fearsome strength. Tis true, but I've yet to meet a foe that explosive casks can't scatter. True enough. So I think we have to go to the apothecary and buy something. Because I don't really have anything. Also, is that quest guy there now? No? How are things? Oh, okay. Well met, sir. How Explosive stuff. Um, oh, a camp kit? Oh, a kit that can be used to set up camp at a suitable location. Oh, that is amazing. I was actually wondering about that in Dragon Dogma 1. Um, let's buy just one, actually. Thank you. And, ooh, do you have an upgrade? How do I know if that sword is better? Okay, there's the stats. Strength, knockdown power. It's very expensive right now. I don't have the money, so let's... Oh, look at that. You can buy upgrades and everything. You're amazing. Um... I mean, I don't really have pants. No, it's capes. Do they not have pants? They have shoes. You don't. Do you want people to constantly be naked? Oh, that that is pants. Landwalker. Okay. It looked like a shoe icon, but okay. And leg armor. Those leather pants. Oh man. It would make us look a little bit better, but yeah, no, we don't stop sidetracking. We don't have the money. So what can I buy here? Uh, do you have any explosives here? I don't think you do. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. How might I be of service? Always a pleasure. So do I have anything on me? Did he give me anything? Did I miss anything? Did he give me actually something to throw at them? No. Can we just go down and beat the crap out of them? Is that an option? Um, what does our quest uh, say? It's actually... It's toss Malf's defense are greatly diminished in the wake of the dragon's attack, making the village stuck. Throw explosive casks into the sorry nest. Um, I don't have any. Um... Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to go and beat them or something. Oh, what is in there? I like going into random people's houses and taking their money. Dried fish? Okay. Something else there. More dried fish. Well, let's head over, I guess. Come to think of it, the private quarters of one arisen I served had many a visitor, and rarely the same one. So, if I don't have anything to, to throw, about. is the game okay with me just killing them, or will that cause any problems? Unless we can find some explosives right here. Oh shit, they're really big and strong. Oh shit. Oh ho, ho, ho. No, 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 no. I'm okay with dying. Okay, so we want to get explosives, it seems. Definitely get explosives. <laughs> so, um, oh, I should have I should have made a save after speaking to um, your man. But the, the inn is better, I think, because they give you penalties when you die and you go to the last save. So let's go to the inn, buy some explosives somewhere. I mean, if the local apothecary doesn't have them... Oof, then wonder if there's any oh, who was something written here a thorough perusal might reveal aught of interest what is written where you really ought to have returned by now Mm. I don't know what you... I don't like... The, the pawns keep pointing things out, but then they don't really tell me where they are. And I'm looking around and I can't find anything. So, um, there is a merchant down by the entrance. Let's see if he has any explosives. Materials such as this can be combined to craft things. And we also have to pick up the quest again, I Different guess. Ah, oh. you've returned. Here to help? Yes. Excellent. Okay, so... Sword. Here's what I need from you. I'd like to enlist. I've prepared some explosive casks and left them by the village entrance. Oh, I didn't realize Use that. I was talking. Saurians scattering. Okay, he left them by the village entrance. I'm an Saurians idiot. Saurians are monsters of fearsome strength. Tis true, but I've yet to meet a foe that explosive casks can't scatter. So village entrance. Make haste then. We must leave anon. No, I don't want to. Not yet. Very well. So Speak with that is one thing I'm not a big fan of right now in this game. People, when they want you to have quests or they want you to be aware of something, they just stop you. So you're in the middle of running past them and they just stop you. Yeah. And I know people want to have conversations with you. Yeah. But I don't think they should force stop you like this. You should just see the text above the head or whatever way they want to do it or you're hear their voice saying, hey, you know, come here, Arisen. You know, we have unfinished business or something. I don't. I'm not a big fan of them force stopping me and forcing me into a conversation. I don't like that at all. 
So that is that is one thing so far in this game that I'm not a big fan of. Sorry, two things. The other one is every time I level up or my pawn levels up, I get this arcade looking pop-up that I leveled up with this. Ba-bam! Like, seriously, dude, I'm playing an immersive game that you created and yet you continuously bombard me with arcade da da You know, that's, that's not good. Okay, Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. I'm attentive and loyal. I like, why? Why? I'm, why are you doing In this? Battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize yeah, Stop. Support. Stop. Leave me alone. Like, this is what I mean. Stop. Piss off. <laughs> Stupid game. Like, this is... I'm in the middle of throwing an explosive. I'm, I'm trying to do a quest and this pawn just walks up to me. Hey, I need to talk to you. It's like, go away. If you want to talk to me, queue up, pick a number, and I, I come back to you. So, elemental weaknesses. Yeah, okay, that's good, yeah. And we know about that. So, yeah, th that is one thing I don't like about this game so far. Come it's a pet hate, it's not a showstopper, but it's different annoying masters as hell. Favor different pawns. One whom I served preferred to have bistrons for allies. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Okay, that is awesome. I love this. You see, this type of conversation, why can't they just do that? Do I have to go back to him or did that autocomplete? I think I have to go back to him. Um, I, I never played really immersive games because I usually get lost in them. But this is the first time Dragon's Dogma 1 and 2 that I play an immersive game that I really enjoy the immersion of. And unlike Dragon's Dogma 1, in Dragon's Dogma 2, they just seem to have completely gamified a lot of things that rip you out of that immersion. And it's like... Why? Why are you doing that? Well, that appears to have sent some of the beasts reeling, at least. Talk to my masculine chest. To finish the job, I'd have you drop a jar of poison into their nest. With any luck, the Saurians will realize that they chose a perilous spot. And he just can't stop looking at my packs. In future. <laughs> but pray, take care not to drop it in the river. Villagers uh, use that water on a daily basis. Yeah. You must make sure your aim is true. Are we clear? Yes. Good. You'll find the jars of poison just outside the village. Toss one into the Saurian's nest and your task is done. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, so let's do the poison. A single jar of poison ought to send those Saurians packing. Only, do be mindful not to spill any on yourself, Master. I guess that's it. Where do you want me to toss it? It wants me to toss it over there, I guess. At any rate. Yeah. Expertly thrown, master. I, I know. wager those Saurians will think twice about nesting here again. All right, Leonard. Such moments make me proud to serve the Arisen. Okay, you ready talking to my packs? Okay, talk you've to my done packs. as I asked, I see. Many oh, thanks for I wasn't close enough. And I must say, you've a fine arm. I couldn't have done better myself. Watching you got me thinking. And mayhap you've the sense to inherit the skills I possess. <laughs> <laughs> or perhaps it is a little early for such talk. In any event, thanks to the work you've done for us today, the rebuilding efforts ought to proceed apace. And for that, I'm grateful. You're more than welcome. Well done, then. Ooh, look at that. We got coin. A nice. resounding success. We have achieved our objective. That was over in a trice. Okay, so, um... The watchhead is waiting for you at the village entrance. Make your way to the capital. Uh, yeah, that's further away, I think. So, um... How can we sort? Updated, new, received, location near. So this is the closest location? Yeah, that's good. Then we're going to make that the priority. Where to next? So let's talk to our buddy now. Make haste then. We must leave anon. Oh, actually, before I go with you, Very I want well. to do a quick save, Speak with I guess. Oh, it did. Okay, sorry. Make haste then. We must leave anon. I'm good. ready. Then let us be on our way. Oh, 
Oh, I like that they actually went out of their way to make sure that we run in different speeds. I'm slightly faster than him. Yes. <laughs> oh, crap. Genie Mac, I love it. Butt snack is like, you want some fire? You want some heat under your ass? Here you go. One might confidently call that like that. You see that here? Like, well, I'm sure there's still room. Like, in any game, I don't mind this, especially Ubisoft games. I don't have an issue with that. Yeah, but that whole leveling up in your face, bam, bam, bam. It's like, go away. You're giving me these nice, peaceful, and even the combat is peaceful in a way because it's like smooth, it's fits, it's atmospheric, and then bam, bam. It's like, stop it. Just let me enjoy the game. Stop constantly bombarding me with stuff in my face. It's like I wasn't ready. And I'm usually the opposite. I actually like all that Arcady stuff, but in this game, it just does not fit. My magics are yours to wield. So let's actually see what our performance is during these combat scenes. Okay, is there any... Oh, there's a chest. So look at this. This is actually awesome. I can look at a chest and then I press go. Now hang on. I have to look at the chest. You're going to open the chest? Okay, hang on. How do I know I'm looking at the chest? There is a way to actually tell her to open the chest by using the go command. A treasure chest! There you go. I can hardly wait to open it. Not all chests contain treasure, you know. Leonard is my doggo's name. He just looked up. Awesome! Leonard, if you can hear me, you're a good dog. Is it a boy or a girl? A boy. Leonard is a boy's name. Yes. Good boy. Ruler of so it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Oh. Yet not all claims are true. I have um, an air dash. How do I do the air slash here? Let's see if it works. Oh, I love it! Regardless, you would do well not to invite my mistrust on our journey. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay. You're dead? Oh, 250 gold, nice. Here you are, master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. Nice. So yeah, the, the performance is actually not bad. Um, but this like I said, I can only imagine what happens to people who have a 2080 a or a 3060, you know, 30. Ranged attacks are my speciality, master. And want to play 2K or 4K. So this is actually not bad. Oh, gather. Blueberries, nice. Have a little look at the side. Hold here a oh, moment. Okay. I shall bid them open the gate. Who's that you've brought oh, with you? He's a German sheep. Head, Very good. 
Leonard the, the good boy. He he deserves the an trade arisen, just for being a good boy. By all appearances. An arisen. Another pretender, you mean? Oh, another pretender. I see, the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. It is uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I will make my report to the capital. So, um, I watched the Dragon's Dogma anime on Netflix, and if you love the Dragon's Dogma games and you haven't seen it, watch it, it's amazing. Um, I, I don't have much experience with animes, I, I watch only a few every now and then, but um, this one was amazing. And if the story is exactly what the story of that Dragon's Dogma Arisen thing is, it's just amazing. Yeah? So, But I don't know how, how much deriv de derivation de derived, I don't know how, how derived the anime is um, it has like only a set number of episodes intentionally so it, it's finished there's no open end it's like it finishes yeah after after four episodes five episodes i don't know so but whatever the end of it is i don't know i don't want to spoil it if you haven't watched it i don't know if that is actually the action lore or if that was just for the anime because if it is the action lore, that's amazing if the claim is false we will be rewarded handsomely. For well, 3080 Ti should be running this Same absolutely true, because they say the recommended say. spec, not minimum, is a 2080. But there is some performance issues, but you might have to enable DLSS or whatever. But a 3080 should absolutely handle this, especially the Ti. He got his good trade not too long ago. A stinking dry chicken pressed. Oh, wow, that's not a trade. That's a big reward. Like in our house, a treat for Sandy is All's like. Been arranged. Uh, no, I, I Come. wasn't calling you. Sorry. Let us pass through the gate. <laughs> um, it's like a little kind of cracker thing, you know? Sometimes she gets. When we, when we get takeaway from a certain place uh, uh, in, uh, uh, called Camille, it's, they do doggy treats, do which is basically uh, rice, uh, rice pudding. Days with oh, um, one of those things uh, dry sugary biscuits in it and um, they put it in the middle and uh, they have some like some other sweet stuff on it she gets that every now and then like when we want to take away there she loves it and she gets doggy ice cream sometimes um, which actually doesn't taste bad there are useful ingredients to be gathered here i'll wager I say we collect as much as we can carry. I definitely think we should be exploring. <gasps> a cave. Oh, let's sidetrack. Let's sidetrack into the cave if it is a cave. It looks like a cave. Ah, uh, no, it's not. I thought we found a little gap in the in the in the mountain. That would have been nice. Oh, hello. A golden trove beetle. Hang on a second. There's something about beetles that I read. Um, we got the small fang. I thought it said golden trove beetle somewhere. That actually recovers a great deal of health. Yeah, so... Does that mean my healing is now changing? No, it still says Soloporous Draught. So how do we assign what healing item we want to T? I'm still a little bit lost on that, how we do that. Oh, what is X? Is that it? No, X is just that. Yeah, I'm not sure. Hmm. Love it. Oh, we can... Quenching syrup, medicine container, use it to cure the caught fire and torch the debilitation. So if we are on fire, we can take that. That is awesome. I love all this uh, combined stuff. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't think. Oh, use recipes? Oh, look at this. Oh, that is amazing. 
So once we know how to do something, we can just pick it. I think in Dragon's Dogma 1, they don't have that. So you always have to kind of remember, oh, was it this or this uh, by clicking on it and then seeing the different type of combinations you can do. This is awesome. Now, it would be nicer to have just one entry for that. And then when you click on it, it shows you all the different options or it shows you the different options here. But this is really, really good compared to the first one. I love that. Um, how's the MSQ questing in the quest log? I remember, well, yeah, I, I don't really know how you right now can differentiate between um, MSQs and um, side quests. I have no idea, to be honest. There is a quest button here, uh, quest list. But I, it could be the label maybe over the header. I'm not sure. But these both have the same label. Seed of the Sovereign, Dragon's Wake. Yeah, so maybe both of them are main quests and that's why there's no difference. So maybe it's that logo here. I, I, I don't really know. I, I haven't paid attention to that too much. But next time I pick up a definite side quest, I will look if there's any difference. It could be that it's in the header here or something, you know, the label. Because I think Skyrim did that for the main quest of the DLCs. They had different kind of emblems on the on the quest headers. Oh, there's another pickup. Love it. So now we have like four potions. An that... ox oh. cart was meant to meet us, yet it is nowhere in sight. Or may have befallen it. Best we press on. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'm snooping around in everybody's tent. Oh, what is that? Hard spot. I think that's an apple or something. Let me just quickly check if I go to combine. Um. Oh crap. Um. What is the hard bud? Um, a variety of tuber known to grow fire and wild consume it to recover a small amount of stamina. But can we combine it though with something? Mm. Okay, why don't you take that? And give it to Buttsnack as well. Uh, quenching syrup. Um, I could hold on to that. Stoutness extract. Defense. Oh, drink it to boost your defense and magic defense for a period of time. I like that. Drink it to boost your strength and magic. So this one is defensive. Uh, for I like that there's one drink, so you can either drink it as a mage or as a, as a warrior, which is really nice. And this is overall defenses, which is really awesome. And then these books. Yeah, I don't know. Um, give that to butt snack. Yeah. Uh, that could do with a bit of a better way of dealing with that as well. Like drag and drop for PC. That would be really nice. But again, they need not trouble yourself. Or anything. anything in here? Oh, look at you, you found 850 gold. I distracted him, you robbed him. We're such a great team. Stability extract, loads of little treasures and rewards, I love it. Oh, what do we have here? This looks like a pawn stone, a rift stone. Sorry, that's what I meant. Yes. Forgotten Rift Stones. Forgotten Rift Stones can be found in various locations throughout the world. The Rift Stone will be restored. You will be able to use the restored Rift Stone to summon unique pawns of a different nature to those that can be... Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to have a look at that unique pawn thing. Let, let's actually check that right now out. I thought unique pawns just simply means pawns generated by Capcom. But... Oh. Okay. Where's Azamain? Can I sort by username? Oh, I love that you can see what weapon skills they have. 
Because if we, for example, would go for a fighter, we want him to have um, shield summon, I think. Yeah, and she, like Balrog there, that is a proper tank. Yeah, like he is like going to help you, you know, taking the aggro of you. So if you don't have a tank, he would be really what you want, you know, with those four skills. Absolutely. Yeah, I can't wait to get all those skills up as well. And for uh, a healing mage, I have to see what skills are actually really appropriate because I want my uh, pawn to be a really good healer so that people will find that pawn very useful, you know? So maybe only at the town rifts you can uh, get those guys. What is this icon here? That... Um Cursor jump? No, 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 no. It's on the little map. You see behind us uh, where it has that quartz icon or something? Is that does that mean there's some resources uh, that we that I missed? Oh, what luck! Tis a chest. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. Oh, where's the chest? You said, oh, what luck! There's a chest. Why do you not tell me where it is? Oh, look up there on the hill. There's a chest. Oh, look at there in the tent. There's a chest. Yep, there you go. Why couldn't you just tell me where it is? A common reward. Frustratingly so. Oh, I know. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Oh, butt snack, always the positive gal. So is there, does that mean there's some ore here somewhere or something we missed? Um, I, I suppose that is the generic resource item and we picked up some resources here so um, I'm assuming that the icon is very handy for when you want to come back and they respawn the resources or something okay so yeah I'm getting slowly to, to handle on the whole system here oh what do we have here what a, wow a, a camping kit outright can we get be on fire Oh, make a camp. You can actually only make a camp on these uh, places. Okay. That's pretty cool. Now there's a worthy prize. If only it weren't so far away. Oh, yeah. How do we get across? Oh, there's fishing? What? Um, can you get the... Oh, I can I can walk in there? Oh, I didn't know that. I thought we would die if we walk in there. Oh, no, 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 no! No, 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 no! Stop it! Stop showing me shit! Okay, good. Okay, so that means we might be able to walk across here. It seems that it's... Mm, okay, let's do uh, save, continue, and then see if we can. Yes! Aha! Worth it. Well, I don't know if it was worth it. A wake stone shard, definitely worth it. So let's see if we can get down from here. Probably can. No! You missed the gap, my friend. You missed the gap. I was aiming for the little... Uh, can we see if we can get down there? Excellent, thank you. And what about this now? Oh, it was good, it was good. Why does it show me this now? What happens? Pawns are rendered immobile when the health falls to zero. Yeah, I'm unable to stir, yeah. So, oh, my pawns are trying to follow me? Oh, what idiots. Oh no, they're all here, I guess. Um. Uh, 
Oh my god, they're so stupid. They're all dying. Okay. What the hell? Okay, yeah, the other two pawns are not that important to me anyway. We just replace them. Yeah, sorry. Not my fault that the pawns can't find the flat part and uh, survive. Okay, some, something happened here. Okay, let's go. We fight! <laughs> nice. Oh, there's something here. Oh, is that ore? No. This sneaky bastard. I have to remember F is shield bash. Control F is shield bash. Okay. Because that knocks them on their ass. I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! Might await us on the road ahead. Oh! Oh, oh, oh yeah, baby! Oh shit. There we go, I'm holding him down. Finish him off. Oh, I love it, Crispy McCracker. Oh, he's already down, okay. Oh, two chests, look at that, nice. While in another world, I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here. Perhaps I, I could love show that. You Does that mean someone hired her? Because that is my pawn, and she's telling me now information about something that I don't know yet. And that usually only happens if someone else had your pawn, traveled ah, with your pawn, and Useful found thing, that chest. I love this pawn system. Like it's it's amazing, absolutely amazing how they set it up. That whole experience, like like knowledge sharing, you know, it's just fantastic. I already was level seven. Oh, that's butt snack. Yeah. 
see, maybe there's a chest up here. Is that what she was talking about? Oh, there's some herbs here. Uncommon materials can be found here, methinks. Okay. Might there be aught over there? Oh, look at that. What is that? Somebody's fighting over there. I fell on my nozzle. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and I'm holding it down. Kill the bitch. Oh, there, Golden Trove Beetle. Again. Well aimed strike. Right where it must. Need here. There we go. I'm happy to oblige. Hold just a moment. I'm so totally getting sidetracked, but I don't care. I really love this in this game. It just feels so natural coming across all these things. Oh, there's a big chest over here. My are at your so if somebody hires my pawn, they will tell them about this chest. Oh, please let it be a weapon. A ring of indifference. Ooh, let me see what that is. A ring of indifference. Oh, I, I didn't equip it. A ring that grants power to the wearer those spirits resonate with its magic. Reduce damage taken from strike attacks. Cool. Equip on right hand. Excellent. And another chest. Hey, Tommy, how are you? Okay, actually, let me try something, okay? I have all these fulgrims here. Um, high Frigger, an ice spell. You. Oh, I cannot use it? Can I use it now that I'm standing up? Invokes high level a lightning spell. Oh, I love it! That was awesome. I'm no mage, but that did the trick. Oh crap! There you go. How dare you touch me! No, I got you, I got you. Hang on. Oh, crap. Oh, man, I'm stuck on this stupid rock. Stop it now. Okay, I'm gonna get you, I got you, I got you. Why is there a quest? I'll redeem myself yet. So can I give you um, some healing? Is that something you can do? So if I give you, do you have any healing? So if I give you, say, this apple, give Batsnack both apples, and now I go and say, use apple here. Well, no, you see, it doesn't. So yeah, this whole pawn healing system, I don't think you can heal them. Hmm, interesting. So it says there's a quest up here. Let's get that chest here first. Maybe it's up top. So let's head up here. Hear something? Oh, that's just her doing magic. Okay, she can heal herself. That's very good. Can we destroy that? Yeah. Oh, 
yes. Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. A soft neck wrap, nice. Oh, it's the same that I'm already wearing. But what about butt snack? So for her, the defense is 49. But if I give it to me, it's 73. That is so weird. Unless I'm not actually having anything equipped. Oh, it was 73 because I didn't actually have anything equipped in that slot. So this is the first time I'm having something like that equipped. Okay. So where is the quest marker? Oh, there it is. Yes! Last. I thought we'd never find one. That is awesome. Another Seeker's token. I'm really loving the whole exploration aspect of this. I don't even care anymore what quest I was on. It's like, yeah, whatever. Let's make sure we do a save, though. We, we're going to have to get our pawns back at some point. Um, but, yeah, this is this is amazing. Um, let me actually see if I can get some um, resources back from eating the, the, the bushels. Where's the bushels? There. Um, oh, can I combine with more? Oh, dried fruit. Oh, look at this. Dried fruit combining that with gives us roborant, which is really good. Nice. A drenching arrow. Oh, look at this. If we combine a syrup ward leaf with drenching arrows, uh, with, with, um, yeah, let's do that so we have it uncovered. That's awesome because now when we go to recipes, we should have them. Oh, we got, we even got the towering arrows unlocked now. This is pretty cool. And we got the different recipes for. Oh, so the one with green wirage and dried syrup is not as good. It's actually stamina. And this is healing. So this is really cool. So we have uh, stamina and healing. So green wearish and dried is dried fruit and dried spot. So dried spot is stamina and dried fruit is healing. That is pretty awesome. And look, it highlights what you can craft. So here I can say, yeah, crafted. Boom, done. I'm really big fan of the recipe system here. Absolutely. Towering arrows, yeah, that's the ones with the oil. Okay. Okay, I think we're pretty wrecked. She's pretty wrecked, so let's make a camp. If the Arisen has a camping kit to hand, they can pitch their tent by the remains of the campfire found at the set spots throughout the wilderness. Much like staying at an inn in town, resting at a campsite restores the party's health and stamina and recovers the lost gauge. Adventurers who seldom return to town should be sure to keep a camping kit in their packs lest exhaustion overwhelm them. Camping also affords the opportunity to grill meat, granting a boost to certain stats upon consumption. The finer the quality of the meat, the greater the increase you expect. That is awesome. Before setting up camp, it would be prudent to eliminate any foes lurking around. Uh, neglecting to do so only heightens the chance of an ambush. Um, oh, equip skills without camping. Yeah, we don't. we can't buy skills, so it's fine. Uh, make a camp. Yeah, let's do it. I'm really a fan of all this so far. Very nice. Examine. Rest till morning. Equip skills. Um, yeah, I don't really have um, any skills right now beyond that. And what about butt snack? Yeah, you haven't learned anything new either. So cancel and can I cook? Tis quite the merry band we've become. How do I cook? Bask in warmth. Add firewood. Nice. Ah. 
I like the way it changes the camera angle there randomly. So let me talk to my pawn. I have a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. Talk. Matters of import. Where to next, Arisen? I'm not sure I have any idea. Prod so what about me if small you must, talk? Master, but I've nothing more to say. How curious that none of our party are archers by vocation. I love it. Basically saying we should probably have a ranged guy with us. So how do I cook the meat? Do I have to sit down maybe and then I can cook the meat? No. Good. Let us make for the capital. I trust all's well, sir. Yeah, so maybe I can't cook because I don't have meat on me. I thought I had meat on me. If I look here... Oh, I can't go in my inventory right now? Okay. Well, rest till morning. Let's hope we're safe, actually, and we don't get raided during the night. Though a raid would be pretty exciting. A good sleep does wonders. I get the modest camp kit back. No, I had two. Yeah, so I have those back. Okay. So, yeah, these things here. A rare beetle that glitters like gold. Consuming it increases the weight one can carry. And that is permanent. The Arisen main pawn can also receive the same effect. That is amazing. So... My total ah. Sandy. Shh. What what is it? Is it mommy? Is mommy back? Let me check. No, you see she's not back. You're fine. Go. Come on. Nobody there. Get the kid up. Come on. Oh, you're such a fatty Magatti. You can't even jump on the bed anymore. You just hear somebody else's dog, probably. Um so if I use this, how do I know what my max carry weight is in the moment? Hang on, uh, X. Does it show me? I kind of want to see how much it increases it by. So I want to see somehow. Okay, so what is my max carry weight? Max encumbrance, 3840. And for her, it's 2640. 38 and 26. 38 and 26. And now I use this. Oh, by 0 0.15. Okay, so yeah, yeah, it actually showed it to me. So 38.55. Okay. So it's not a lot, but I guess you keep picking them up and you keep finding them. It's it's adds up. These guys didn't respawn yet, did they? Ooh, there's more. Herbs. Your chest lies maddeningly close. Oh, there's another chest that I missed? I thought we already picked it up. Yeah, we picked if up I this might chest. Be so bold as to speak my mind, oh, there's another one up top there. We might add a thief to our ranks. How do we get up there? Hmm. This is for you, Master. I thought it might come in useful. What? What is it? A tad too high, methinks. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice. We can't reach that unless we can stand. Can I put an item there? Can I pick up the chest? No. Can I pick up a... 
barrel. Now we, we destroyed all the barrels. Yeah, we can't get across. <laughs> I know there's a skill for the shield, which I'm going to get, um, which allows you to vault somebody across. Oh, it looks like you can get up there and then go across, but to get up there is kind of an achievement in itself. Uh, maybe from here. Okay, hang on, maybe if we jump a little bit closer to the edge. Ah! Yes! Yes! Oh, awesome! It, perseverance. Come on, open it. Well, 120 RC, that's actually really good. Ooh, look at this! That is worth it. Nice. How did you guys get up so easily? I'm literally breaking my balls getting up, up here, and you guys are just I'm not showing sure what up. We'll find, but it might be something useful. Okay, back we go on track. Um. Oh, these guys. Oh, she high-fived me. I love it. <laughs> we didn't check out this little corner here, so I just wanted to make sure we check that out before we continue. Ingredients are plentiful here. Oh, that oh my god. Help. Help. Like, help. Okay, we're definitely gonna say yes to this. Wow! I can't even attack! I, I just cannot attack! What the fuck?! Stop it! Why?! Like, can somebody just tell this guy to fuck off? That would be really great. Jesus. No, 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 no high five. Okay, you're terrible. You were terrible. You didn't help me at all. You just watched as they dragged me and bloody had their way with me. You watched and cheered them on. That ladder looks promising, but we'll have to drop it down from above. Mother of testicles, what the hell? They're tiny little wolves. They take one hit to take out. That was intense. I'm like pressing three. Help, help, help. And she's like, oh. <laughs> so there's a ladder up there somewhere. That's what they get for exploring. Okay, hang on. We can't get up there. Seriously. Are we okay? What's happening? Something just started stuttering like massively here. Okay, it's stuttering even though the frames are not going down. Uh, very strange, okay. Alright, let's continue. So which way do we actually have to go? I'm kind of conf Oh, I think there's a Seeker's uh, coin up there. Ah. I hmm is a bit far. Yeah, what is the... There is so much lag here. Look, even though the frames are okay, the image is stuttering really badly. Um, That is very strange. I thought it would only stutter because of frames. But yeah, we can't... Can we shoot it somehow? Hmm... So 
So if I tell you to go over there, can you? Anything for you, Arisen. Off I go. Yeah, I don't think you can get over there either. So the only way to get actually across is um, with the vault, I think. The vaulting skill. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit stuttery if they have no idea why. Yeah, now it's gone again. So how come something would stutter? I'll get that for you. How does a game stutter with images if the FPS is not the issue? Would it be CPU? I'm not sure. Um, I can't throw her. Um, maybe I can. Actually, oh my God! Thank you so much for it seems for mentioning that. Dead end. Come on. Can you let the ladder out? Oh, this is awesome! <laughs> I love it. I thought we needed the shield skill. Mad dude, that's amazing. Uh, where's the ladder there? Here. That is so cool. Just remember, when you're now in real life, yeah, when you have your friends with you, it just, just, just... Launch them across. Of all things, it seems undisturbed. Mayhap will be the first ones to explore. There must be some way to reach your path. Any ideas? Is there a coin somewhere here? It has a quest marker here. Oh, I think there's a cave entrance here, but we need an explosive most likely to get through there. You need me at the vanguard? Say no more. Oh, how could we get in there? Full screen cousin today. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. It's only in this specific area. So this looks like we... That there's a tunnel entrance, a cave entrance, but I don't know how to get in there. So we need some kind of explosive, I guess. Which there is none here. Unless she picked something up and she's not um, telling me. I don't think so. Or, let me see for a second. Can I use a fire spell? And aim it at... Oh, the rocks. Did they move? No, can't get through there. Okay. Here you are, master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. Oh, what did you find? Okay, Sandy, what are you barking at? Now you're getting really excited. Is mommy home now? Is she? Yeah, there we go. Jeannie Mac, how do you know that? She is not even in the driveway. She's just coming down the road. I don't know. Their smell is amazing. I can't even smell my own farts like, and she can smell somebody in a car coming down the road. Like that is not even near the house. That's crazy. Um, this would be too high. We would probably die. But I want to see if we can jump over there. Actually, you know what? No, throwing her over it wouldn't make any sense. Um, no, let's not kill ourselves. Let's just be responsible. Okay. <laughs> it's funny that the quest we're actually on is just to walk over to this place. And we just completely get sidetracked. So we came from here, we have to go over to uh, east. Okay. Let's keep going this way then. Those wolves were amazing. Like, I was like, what the F is happening? 
They just grabbed me by the scruff and dragged me along. That was really awesome. Well, Matthew was first throw over there. Oh, sorry, Matthew. I didn't even see it. My apologies. Uh, thank you, though, for pointing it out. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, actually, you're... I'll carefully conserve my strength. Okay. And endeavor to survive every battle by way um, of Do you know what? You're level 9. Abel, tactics. let me see the details. Um, pawn details. Uh, who owns you? Are you just a generic pawn or does somebody own you? What's your skills? Vocation, archer, barrage shot, loose, front kick, steady shot. Love it. Pawn badge. Pawns are awarded badges as a mark of their accumulated knowledge and experience, whether that be proficiency in combat or experience exploring. Pawns whose badges are more helpful to the arisen in word and deed. Monster badges are awarded to pawns who have defeated a certain number of particular type of monsters, such pawns are by then so experienced with the creature in question that they know the best way to defeat it and will offer beneficial advice. But they also change what they attack with. So in the beginning, they might just attack, a mage might have just attacked with fire or whatever and lightning. And then when they realize, oh, this monster is only, um, is very weak against lightning, they might, you know, just switch to only lightning spells for that one. Um, field budget awarded to pawns who have camped a sufficient number of times in a particular region. When adventuring in said region, the pawn will display the knowledge of the area by offering beneficial advice. Like, yeah, there's a chest nearby, things like that. Okay, so travel together for a day and night, and we get a wakestone shard. Awesome. You have no badges, but I don't think you or anybody owns you. Oh, and you a quest guide. You know what? Yeah, let's let's take you. Let's take you. Oh, that is actually a user. Okay, it is a user. You can see it here. Great. Let's um, hire you. Oh, the Arisen details. That's the Arisen of the person that owns them. <laughs> oh, look at that. I love it. <laughs> it's like, I'm just an old fragile woman who will beat the shit out of you if you get too close. Yeah, exactly. This is brilliant. Higher. Yes. Shall we discuss tactics now or later? Awesome. So what can you tell me? I have nothing further to add. Um, talk. Matters of importance. Nothing to report as yet. Was there something you needed, Master? Is there all this pawn might do for you? Um, talk? Small talk? We've met no foes for some time, but tis all the more reason for us to be on our guard. Awesome. That is really cool. Because our ours died. Um, let's go. Uh, it's funny, I never thought I could enjoy a game like that, but... Oh. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. I think we'd encounter one here of all the places. Oh, crap, Apple. The Cyclops, pray to be on your guard. The power of such a torrent is not to be underestimated. Perhaps we could find a way to meet it. Shoot him in the eye. A little bit higher, go for the head. It seems we have enraged our foes. A reckless opponent makes for easy prey. Oh crap. We must spare no effort to get to this foe. Let's stop. Oh crap. Somebody heal me. Oh actually I can heal me. Hang on. T. No, I think she can heal me. Oh, 
Okay, let me... Come on, you can do it. Attack the head. Yes! Lock its feet out from under it and strike here it recovers. Might not dare attack such a thing. Okay, I have to stop. No! Oh no! What an ass hat! That was so awesome, he just grabbed me. Oh wow, look at this! That was environmental damage. Grab hold and drag it to the ground. I shall lead the charge! There we go, we have it on its knees. Let's go for the face. My magic are yours to wield. Come on, step off the damn thing and attack its head. Allow me. This by my hand. There we go, nice! It is time we made for the captain. You have my gratitude, sir. It would seem I misjudged you. I had taken you for another false arrest. That was awesome. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the value you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this as a mark of my trust. Is it the number of your girlfriend? Give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch, and I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well, I. Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the ox cart. Tis your decision. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. Let's see, is there anything else? That big thing that exploded there? Did that unlock anything? So, was there anything unlocked, maybe? No? That was really awesome. I love that piece of combat there. Oh, there's the ox cart. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? Yeah, sure, why not? Very I mean, well. you know. Board the ox cart and we'll be off. Excellent. Riding in an ox cart would be a welcome reprieve. It would allow us to save our strength. Assuming we're not attacked, that is. Walking powder. Did you just pick up what I want? Oh, I'm heavy. I'm over encumbered. Okay, let me put some stuff actually on my pawn. Why is everything so heavy? Oh, uh, is this what is so heavy? Let me see. Give. And. Oh, sorry, I'm on butt snack. I'm in the wrong one. So the meat is actually quite heavy. So give the meat to butt snack. That will bring the weight down a little bit. Oh, these, well, that's one kilo. That's not really that heavy. Oh, these things are actually quite heavy. Holy shit. Yeah, we'll keep those two. We keep the shards. Yeah, these arrows I don't need, so we give it to you and we can sell them. You're heavy now, though. Ooh, okay. So let's be careful. And what does Abel have? Nothing. Okay. Pure burden certainly makes for smoother travels. I dare say, the spring has returned to your step, master. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. I've a knack for gathering items, and am ever on the hunt for new finds. So I'll I can actually try out any useful mechanisms I espy. 
Oh, okay, sorry. I thought I could hire my own pawn as a duplicate. That would have been pretty sweet. Now, we have an archer. Yeah, what we need is another mage. Um, I want to see if there is... Um, how can I see if other mains or something is there? Um, pawns in the rift. Oh, I can't actually select friends only or something? Okay. Oh, this is uh, not an archer. This is... Um, oh, this, this is an archer. So let me go by... There's no badges here. Let me go by specialization and weapon skill. Okay. Blank strike. Oh, look at this guy. Already has blind strike. Um, but yeah, in this case, we might want a mage. So Rudy is ice boon, lightning boon, fire boon. That, that is awesome. A, a little bit higher level, but that's okay. Let's go for it. Um, can I... Oh, okay. So Rudy, I have to look now for Rudy. Here we go. No, I'm not much of a cut person, though. Uh, okay. It's a pleasure to meet you. But he has he has really good skills, like so, and he's only one level higher, which is okay. If ever you've need of an ear to listen. No, you're Grant. I have a dog to talk to. I don't need a cat on the, uh, in the same turn. Male armor is skimpier than female. Well, I'm going to put the skimpiest ammo on my female at some point uh, to make her attractive to be hired. Okay, so let's get into the cart, I guess. Oh, we actually physically walk in. We don't just click a button and then we take a seat. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, hang on. There's a quest icon. That means that it could be another one of those tokens. I'll gather these now. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. What is up there? Okay, here, come here. Butt snack, come here. What manner of madness is this? Uh, oh, I can't go higher. But we can't reach it from here. We'll have to get up there and drop it down. Where's the ladder? Where are you talking about the ladder? Oh, there it is. I can see it. Okay, can the archer shoot at it? The archer is pretty small. Can I throw her up there? Where's she? Come on, archer. No. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get up there anytime soon. Uh, we would need a bow or something. Maybe to shoot it. Or maybe I can throw something. Let me see if I have something to throw. Yeah, I can't throw that high. Okay, so we have to come back here, I guess, at some point. Oh, nice. I saw it first. Oh, okay, you pick up this the This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. So this is not fast travel. What this is, is it's slow travel. <laughs> Shall remain by your side. Abel, you're coming. Mm. 
Yeah, we should scout ahead a bit. Especially in these side entrances here. There we go. We've got goblins. Shame I've no advantage against this foe. Are we all in the same boat? Oh, I, I, I told you we're friendly. I like that. In genius, my own master must hear of this tactic. Surely not. Them pinned down. Not a bad idea. Okay, I need a heal. Thank you. Where's the other guy here? Nice. Love it. Oh, he actually is dead. Sweet. Ooh, I can't wait to buy that Lightning attacks and damage. When a lightning attack is unleashed, the magical energy cannot be contained. Bolts and lightning will branch off and jump to targets in the vicinity, dealing additional damage. Moreover, if a trenched target is struck by lightning, the resulting bolts will be able to reach a wider range. That is pretty cool. Oh, we prevailed by the I love those high fives. That's just we really awesome. This, a lesson. this is what befalls one who lets down their guard. Okay. I'm happy we uh, we taught them a lesson. Like the box card has barely moved. <laughs> Everything Go okay? Mads. What rotten luck! We've need of your. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I got it sorted. Isis sting is yours to wield. Oh yes! Look at this guy taunting him. Hang on. There we go. I'm holding him down. Finish him off. Come on. Good. Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. No worries. Burnworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? <laughs> I think he's leaving the party after all the sexual harassment. Um, yeah, I think the major stones is where you can do the... Yeah, you're right, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, no, right. I'm coming along with you, dude. This is awesome. Then. And I like that he actually waited before he triggered the whole thing with the goblins. That was really sweet. Anything we missed? Examine. Now we already looted them. Any loot left? Nice. Let me get that. Mm. 
Are they coming? Where are they? Why are they not coming? Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Come on. I'm accompanying you. Where are you going? Okay, he has to get in, I guess. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. They can be most convenient, though they travel only during the day. Oh, I had to sit down before they actually continued. Okay. Oh, wow. That saved us a lot of time, I guess, traveling to the capital. It definitely feels a lot more fluid than the first game, absolutely. And pro, it, it actually runs okay if you look at the uh, the FPS. But yeah, you see this like the the during a cinematic, well, which is still in-game cinematic, it drops so much on frames sometimes. It's quite ridiculous. Um, but it is what it is. It doesn't feel though very stuttery. Captain so. Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first, it would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. Okay, but what is if there's two? That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. Do you know I could crush your skull with my hand? I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. I'm playing on GeForce now. Um, I'm not playing on my PC. My PC specs is very old. It's an i7 5820K with a GTX 1080. But um, as you can see here, this is using a, a RTX 4080, which is um, on GeForce now. And they use like a 12 core AMD uh, CPU, I think, um, in the system. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Oh, okay, cool. But I don't understand. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, may I ought to explain the situation before we proceed? Um, I made the biggest character possible because A, I want to be a warrior, which gives me more strength, but it also uh, means, I, sorry, which allows me to carry more. Uh, when I'm big, which means I can put on heavy armor and um, I have still more room to carry stuff. Yeah, I, I would crush him with one hand. Um, you and no other are the sovereign, the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. I don't want to rule a kingdom. Some days past, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. Yeah, okay, the I remember that. Rejoiced. For our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule. But it's kind of funny. So basically, you become the king by having your heart ripped out and becoming an arisen. And what makes you better to be a king than anybody else who actually knows how to rule a kingdom? Like, sure, you, you basically have a scar on your chest and can talk to, to, that, to the one dragon or whatever, or... You're supposed to avenge it. I think the whole idea is actually, and again, I'm going by the anime that I watched, and I don't know how accurate that is to the law of the game, but you're supposed to feel the need to constantly go to the dragon who did this to you. Like that's that's the whole idea that you have that bond and and you you have that unexplainable urge to to follow it and find it. Yeah, 
And uh, what makes you that amazing king? What powers do you have that you, you don't have any unearthly powers? You can talk to pawns, but yeah, great. It's like somebody saying, I'm special. I can talk to crickets. Who cares? Like, um, what makes you the better king? Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous consul, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Oh, her son mysteriously died. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. Oh, sorry, she wanted her son to be the king. Kedisa, your majesty's very existence is not but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. That makes sense. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Yeah, because we just keep coming back to life. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. You see, the dragon doesn't tell you you're king. And again, I don't know the lore because I haven't played the first game really, yeah? Um, even though that's a separate story and this is a separate story and they're not really connected, yeah? Um, is um, according to the anime, you have that urge to to find that dragon and and you know basically to avenge the the situation, you know, and and uh, kill the dragon or something, yeah. Um, but you are no, and you you don't want to stay in the one place and and you know like be a ruler to people like that. That is not, I guess, what you as the arisen I think wants to do. But for some reason, these people think that Arisens should be king. Is it because they can't die? But it doesn't make them a good ruler. Yeah, so I'm kind of missing a couple of pieces here of information, I guess. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead. A mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. See, nobody's asking me if I want to. I should king. devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. So, yeah, but again, the lore in the anime could be completely made up to, ac to complement the lore of the game. Uh, you know, I don't know. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Okay, so 6,000 gold? Nice! Oh, what do we have here? Let's snoop around a bit. Um, looks like something we should be looking at. Regarding the oath, both Vermont and Bathal regard the Scourge of the Dragon as a matter of the utmost priority. Should the baleful creature light on either side of the border, both nations are sworn to provide aid as well as to assist in the evacuation of the popu populace and with scouting missions as needed. In such an event, all troops are expected to put aside any disagreement of faith or culture and devote themselves wholeheartedly to the duty. Well, that sounds very modern and very uh, uh, responsible. And I'm pretty sure that nobody who values their power is going to agree to it. Oh, okay. Do you have any more, actually, hmm. to no, talk about? Seems amiss at present. Visit the tavern at night, if you've ought to... Okay. Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Consign it! Get back here! Oh, the guards are looking for him. You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. I lied, just in case it wasn't clear, because I don't think he... That little dude is You're a kind one, aren't you? Tough. It would seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! There 
you are! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell. Yeah, I definitely want to start getting armored up. You're absolutely right. Oh, sweet. We got some more wakestone shards. Because the pawns. I love this so much. And now I just need to change the pawns and I get another wakestone. That's brilliant. So now while we're in town, I, I turn this on so that you can see actually the, the frames are going to tank in towns quite a lot. And that is, um, from what I understand, that is because of all the NPCs. The, um, I don't know if, what the first mm -hmm. patch was, oh, but basically you. for every single the NPC you see running around, there's now. a huge amount of CPU power reserved for it to do some massive calculations, which I don't know why. I'm assuming it's because you can actually interact with all NPCs. You can kill them. You can attack them. They all have their own kind of, um, I suppose, logistics behind it that constantly run and do some calculations. And one of the biggest issues people found was that in towns with a lot of NPCs, it's just... You know it's too much for for most cpus so it starts kind of slowing down and the reason i think the frames are going down is the, from a technical perspective is if your cpu is really being hammered constantly um the time it takes to put the information through the whole buzz of the graphics card and everything no matter how much ram you have it's just going to slow down because your pc just can't handle it yeah and i think this is why a lot of people started killing all the npcs in town they just went ham, and uh, uh, after killing all the NPCs that they can, the, the the performance started improving. You know, so which obviously is not a good thing to do, especially seeing that you can't really have a second playthrough at the same time, um, going on where you could like turn evil, you know, and do that. Thank you again, sir. You don't know how grateful I am to you. Well, I just gave you some medicine, like that I bought. It's, it's not the end of the world. Oi, sir! We've started selling that medicine you gave me at our shop. Why don't you come see? Oh, that's pretty cool, yeah. Nice. So where's your shop? <laughs> um, will I just follow you? I don't know if I should be stalking a child, but... Well met, sir. Oh. Forgive my presumption, but were you the one who gave my granddaughter that medicine in Melv? Mm, yes. I thought so. <laughs> She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. You have my sincerest thanks for aiding her. Yeah, uh, uh, that, that's actually great that somebody did a website like that. I just think I would be just afraid of, well, to be honest, killing all the NPCs, if that means you cannot progress your main story, then that would be terrible design, to be honest, because you should always be able to complete the main story. Killing NPCs that could give you nice side missions for, for good items or upgrades, yeah, I'm perfectly okay with that. But for example, important um, NPCs that are like the ones where you can buy things, merchants, you shouldn't be able to kill them because they are kind of integral to the game. But um, everything else, absolutely fair game. That girl's always running off on some fool's errand or other for all my jiding. Now listen, tisn't much, but I'd fain offer you a discount on my wares. Pray, make good use of it, won't you? Oh, that's awesome. Sweet. Discount, baby. I brought you. Specializations are skills that can only be acquired by pawns. They're not strictly beneficial for they allow the pawn to act independently, and this can result in unexpected consequences. However, with a little patience, planning, and due care, specializations can prove very useful and are well worth trying out. If you would like your pawn to learn a specialization, you would do well to befriend people with various traits and tendencies in the world around you. Sooner or later, these friendships are bound to create opportunities for your pawn to acquire specializations. That is awesome. Uh, a pawn can only acquire one specialization at a time, and learning a new specialization will replace the old one. Consult each specialization's entry for more information about its effect. Oh. <laughs> I don't tell half as many lies as my parents. We got at something called a tomb. Did the, I think the child just gave that to us. A tome. A tome that grants upon the chirurgy. Jesus Christ, what is that word? Chirurgian specialization, allowing them to use curatives on the arisen and other allies on their own initiative. That is awesome. So how do I do that? Do I use it? Um, sorry, do I use it? And it will automatically go to my 
Batsnak acquired the specialization. Sweet. Is it mentioned it somewhere here now? Vocation mage. Pawn. Specialization. The pawn who acquires the skill gains the initiative to use curatives on the Arisen and other allies. That is really, really awesome. So I can just put basically healing potions into that uh, uh, pawn's inventory and it should be able to use them on me. Like things like cure blind, you know, cure burning or something. Th that is awesome. That is a really useful one to have. Um, travel together for day and night. So can I change that? No. This pawn current. This pawn's current quest. The reward to be received upon the pawn's quest completion. I can't change that. I didn't defeat thirty cyclopses. What? Camp in Vernum area 50 times. Oh, one out of 50, one out of 30. Sorry. I was like, what? Is that, where is it getting the data from? Okay. Whether or not this pawn can offer guidance. Um, yeah, I don't have any, because I didn't complete any of the quests yet, I guess. Okay, so let me Welcome see your wares. and well met. Don't think I've forgotten your discount now. Yeah, let me sell some stuff to you first. So I definitely want to sell all my arrows because there's absolutely no me no need for me to have them. Um, I'm going to sell all these because I'm not really going to use them. And for 250 gold each, I think they're much better off being sold so I can buy gear. Um, all this I'm going to actually keep because it enhances equipment, uh, of course. So what about you? Some fish. There we go. Okay. I'll knock a few gold pieces off for you by. So spend away, my good sir. Okay, an ornate box, an intricate curious sold by a merchant who deals in such trinkets. Something small can be stored within the internal compartment. Huh, I'm kind of curious buying it because I have some money now and I want to see if, if I buy this, is there something already in it maybe? Um, I already have loads of these... Um, Oh, I don't think I have anything to cure poison and toxins, so let's buy at least one of them. We have loads of these here, okay. Uh, do come again. I do so enjoy stocking up on supplies. I quite understand the desire to buy items purely for the pleasure of owning them. True enough. Okay, dude. Let me see. I've Can I buy some upgraded weapons? Style. Come, have yourself a look. So I'm gonna eventually upgrade to the vocation of warrior, which um, I found out uh, you don't lose your tank ability. You actually can still tank as a warrior, which is awesome. Enhance equipment. Now let's buy equipment first. So the sword here is much better. A broadsword. That's a two-hander sword, I guess. Is it? No, it's a single-handed? Okay. But it's a bit heavier. A cutlass, 187. Knockdown power, nice. Okay. Let me buy one of those. Uh, equip purchase, yes, equipped. And that means I can now sell my old sword. There we go. Nice. And buy. And you don't have any armor. Okay. Um, I thought we had more arrows, actually. 
that we can sell. Mm, most of them was taken. So that broadsword, we can reduce the weight uh, the, the, that it is. That is pretty sweet. Enhance. Oh, hang on a second. So a style of smithing common throughout Vermont favors uh, a tried and true method that moderately enhances all attributes of a piece of equipment. So strength goes up. Material needed, just money. Okay, so let's do that. Now we need slated colored horns, which I don't have. So if this is just money, yeah, absolutely. Well, let's wait with the shield because um, he might actually have shields if I scroll down. But um, let's wait. I want to buy more armor. And um, Do you have a shield? Actually, you do. Excellent. That is sweet. Let's get that shield. Thank you. Equip it, and then we can sell the other shield. Thank you. So weapons, I guess, are always more important than armor, because you can always avoid things, but you can't make up for the lack of damage or defense if you don't have a shield and sword that's upgraded. So enhance will just cost gold. Great. Oh, we actually have Harpy, Pinion, and four. Yeah, let's do this. Awesome. And the last one is two silver ore, and this is really, really cool. I'm loving this. Okay. Oh, what about um, Buttsnack? Buttsnack needs a new weapon as well. An ironclad staff. Anchor of Heaven. It's oh, wow. Familiar with any marina. In truth, its design is meant to focus magical powers. Absolutely. Let's get it. I know it's very expensive, but weapons, very important, I guess. Uh, sell. There we go. And see if we have enough left over to enhance that weapon for our pawn. 310, yes. And we don't have green shin slime, but awesome. Apologies, sir, but we've not got any archer staves or great swords in stock at the moment. Goods aren't flowing as freely as they used to, see. Strangely enough, it is the arms shipments that are being targeted the most. So far, no one's done a thing about it. I hesitate to ask, but what of you, sir? Should you take interest in aiding my plight, pray speak to the guild head, Klaus. Yeah, actually, absolutely I would. So, Guildhead Klaus, let me see. This is the innkeeper. Bjorn's armory, is it set him? Vermont was once a beast in kingdom. Fascinating. It's Indeed. Over there, is Though it is not widely known among the common folk. What do we have here? Hmm. Greetings. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Oh, there's Klaus. Good old German Here, name. We conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is um, I don't know if Rusted Weapons, I think I don't know much about the first game. I, I played quite a lot of it so far, but I, I, again, the whole system, I was still learning. So I don't really know. Um, can I change into a warrior vocation? Not yet, so I have to acquire it with 150 DCP. Okay. Um, I think I have to do a quest or something to... Unlock this. Forgive me. But I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. Oh, okay. You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, we are, and we cannot simply. I'm gonna them fix in, that. As the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by goblins. I sorted so out. Don't worry about I it. I cannot assist you. Let me see. 
What else can I tell you of our guild? Oh, I can give you my seeker tokens. Have you found any of the items we discussed, perchance? Perchance. That's that's one of my daughter's favorite words. Perchance. Um, sure, turn them in. Receive the fairy stone. Oh, that is awesome. So I'm assuming that's not just his list, but that is a list of g in general. Like, so we can go to any person and uh, do that. A stone that can instantly spirit the user back to the location of a set portal crystal. I don't have a portal crystal really at this stage. Yeah, so that's the generic list. So what happens when you collect um, 220? You get a ring of endeavor. Slightly boosts disciplines gained from defeating foes. Eternal bond. A ring that brings brims with mystic light grants the wearer a more companionable air when offered as a gift it depends it deepens the bond between giver and receiver um okay let me see if i can acquire some more useful skills so in the moment i'm going to be obviously um a tank so shield someone will be very important wraps the shield loudly to attract yeah we want that obviously um equip shield summon there we go perfect now springboard excellent this allows us to catapult a person which is not going to be something i probably will use a lot but um spins oh nice that's for for multiple foes i might actually prefer that over i uh, know blink strike is nice yeah i like blink strike so yeah let's not go too crazy um let's go and check some core skills true deflect deflect attacks back towards the target with impressive might while activate while active counter attacking consumes no stamina press right the instant before an enemy it makes contact oh that's awesome traces a grand skyward arc with the blade sending lightweight targets flying in the air hold left then release so it's like a charge attack Steeled foundation. Oh, nice. Oh, uses the shield to ease the impact from falling. Reduces all fall. Hastens recovery the fall. That sounds awesome. Well, let's get the true deflect first. And also check out the augments. Metal. Augments, your physical defense. Yeah, let's get that first. That's more important, I think. Yeah. No, I wasn't finished. Um... Core skills. Okay. Let's get through this. Let's get this. And now we can get this. Okay. And oh, yeah, we have to also do butt snack. I keep forgetting that. So for butt snack, what augments do we have? Apotropism augments your magic defense. Sure. Let's put it in. Now, the way we can make our. Uh, a butt snack very appealing to other people like yeah to rent as our pawn is if we change our pawn's vocation i don't know if you can actually do that change your pawn's vocation to say warrior get something like um this augment here and then you have a mage when you switch back to mage which has both yeah so we can do that as well we can go into mage augment uh, and start unlocking things like that as well but let's stick with butt snack and let's go to core skills. Um, Focus Bolt fires a condensed magical burst that differs based on active enchantment. Sure. Quick spell. Greatly hastens invocation speed. Consumes stamina while active. And levitate. Manipulates the caster's weight through magical means, allowing them to float temporarily. While jumping, press space again, holding the... Ma oh! That's pretty cool. So I could tell that person, hey, there's a ladder over there. Could you jump across and get it? It should theoretically be able to do it. On. Okay, now we can focus on weapon skills. Okay. Conjures a magical sigil that cures the cast and the allies of certain debilities. Caught frost. That's actually really important. So I think we should definitely have this. Uh, 
So if you look at this, we have flagrant in the moment, flagration, which unleashes uh, fire, flame. That's important. So any type of fire attack would be great in the beginning. Fire boon enchants our weapon, which is important. So I think we don't have a healing skill here in the moment, but why don't we also do ice boon? What is it? Attack Frigga's Ice. Let me see what it does here. What does Palladium do? Oh, it will. Okay, block attacks. I'm actually going to use this as a secondary attack. I like the way that looks. Okay. So we can change her vocation. So we could make her a fighter now. And she could help us. And then she can unlock the other augments as well and use them. That is actually pretty cool. Okay, I think we'd... Oh, actually, talk. Certain because... vocations are unavailable at present. Yeah, Let I me know. see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Oh, I thought we could talk about the, the mission. I was told to talk Methinks to you about... Roderick will be able to tell you aught of the stolen shipment. Oh, okay, Roderick. Um, I see you have a chest there in the back. He runs the local armory, and we purchase almost all of our stock from him. May fortune smile upon you, sir. Whence might we procure such a thing? Oof! What is that? A ring imbued with power slightly boosts maximum health. Excellent. Um, yeah, thank you. Right hand equipped. So, both of these, okay, say unequip. So how come, hang on a second. I lost some health because I had 800 already when I had one of those rings equipped. So, mm, okay. So can I give this to Buttsnack then? And you can wear this ring. There you go. Yeah, we're going to have to store stuff. So we have to find a... What's, back? What's in the back here? Oh, what does this say? This is just what's needed. Okay. I'm no hurry to to your neck. I need to find an inn. What is that? We are aware of the existence of several caverns uh, whose depths extend across the border. If you have cause to delve, be sure to check which side of the border you're exiting from. Headless Ledger. Heard some people in the tavern talking about a shop in the rest town. A scrap, a scrap store, they called it. Doesn't sound like much, but apparently you can give forgeries made there. Can, can have forgeries made there. Reckon that grimoire I lost all that coin on was one of them. Maybe I could earn it back by making some forgeries of my own and selling them off to collectors. That is awesome. Is that basically hinting at us that we could do that? That is so cool. Um, yeah, the innkeeper is actually around here, I believe. Let me see. Well met. You, you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the four organized storage in all Vernworth. Okay, deposit. So we want to deposit everything, I guess. Um, we're going to keep the healing potions and that's pretty much it. Keep the oil though. Yeah, I'm not using the fairy stone yet.
an intrinsic yeah i want to check that out first um okay but snack Oh, we're missing a pawn again? I thought we got another pawn. Interesting. Oh, there's Rudy. Oh, Rudy's too far away. Okay, I get it. Commerce is the domain of clever minds. You know where to find me. Yeah, let me go into my inventory first and check this out. Yeah, I don't know what this is good for yet, so we're going to keep it. It's very light. But misgivings. Well met, sir. Um, up the stairs next to you. What? Oh, look at that. We got some dried fruit. The other day I arrived at the border checkpoint only to realize I left my entry permit back at the inn. Ended up uh, having to make this trip back so I was late for my delivery. When I complained to a fellow driver about it, he said next time I ought to use a best bestron mask. Seems Bathel favors its bestron's residents so they can get through without a hassle of a permit. Might be worth keeping a disguise to hand just in case. That's pretty sweet. Bunch of flowers. Oh, nice, a camping kit. I love it. That's a very good find. Isn't it about time we had ourselves a meal? Oh, what I wouldn't give for a bowl of hot stew. Peruse at your leisure. What do we have here? What is this? Greetings. You seek guidance, do you not? You, have, you need only make a worthy offering in exchange. I have seen your path. May these were Seek audience with Brandt, who shall grant thee a task. You've my gratitude. If the way forward is shrouded to you, I can offer God. It is lovely to see you. Okay, oracles. Oracles are useful allies in a chaotic world. Their guiding slight sight allows them to impact words of wisdom to the arisen, illuminating the path they ought to follow or revealing the course of action they should take next. If a quest has you at an impasse or if you have lost your way on your adventure, pay a visit to an oracle. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, there we go. We have the, the, the files now. That's all the stuff we're reading. We met some new people. So we have to go to... Klaus told us to go to the armor merchant. I'm in no hurry to leave. Where's the armor merchant? That is the weapons merchant. Let me see. Can I see it somewhere on the map? Armor merchant. That's weapon. I guess that's armor. Um, 
What is this? Oh, this is the party crystal. So now that we activated it, the fairy stone will allow us to travel. Is it like the first game where you can click on a, another party crystal and then just travel from there? We'll see. Anyway, I have to find. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Hang on. Oh, seriously? No way. Seriously? Can you stay on the table? Ah! God damn it. Okay. It's a bit finickety, the whole system, but um, it, it looks... Uh, I like that you can actually do it in the first place. What is that? Oh, I thought it was shining and we were able to pick it up. Okay. Welcome to the Star Drop It. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Okay, that's great. You can actually pass the time here, which is really nice. So uh, let's ignore it. We have to find. The merchant. I have to go down to the merchant again. The armor merchant. How might I be of service? Welcome to Bjorn's armor and quality is what you need if you want to survive. So, if all catch your eye, just say the word. Looking for a craft. Oh, I thought we had to hold it. Master of my trade. Many thanks. I appreciate the business. So I'm kind of confused. Oh. We have to talk to him again. Why are they sending us to and fro? Oi, friend. Klaus sent word that you've agreed to rescue some of my pilfered equipment. Fair I guess warning. I did. Goblins are behind these ox cart raids. I've seen from the tell of it. Their lair lies somewhere along the western road. Um, how long are you streaming? We're just stre we're, we're, we're finishing in, in about 15 20 minutes. Right, I think I'm gonna start careful. setting out to look for those Losing guys. My wares for good would make me sore, but no sack of gold can compare to a fellow life, eh? The goblin's lair. I hope Western you can reclaim aught from the fiends. It would bring me peace of mind. So, excellent. There we go. Priority quest. So, we go to the Western Road, but first I need to pass some time. So, let's go back to the. In keep uh, to the tavern because we don't have enough money to. Oh. Ah, oh, god damn it! I thought I could just really get up to that roof. Mm, okay. I'm gonna find a way up there. They just will not let you jump up there. Welcome to the Star Drop. We serve okay. all manner of let fine me here. pass the time. Shall I pour you? Does it pass time now to morning like or? Time. How much time has passed? It's still dark outside, is it? How do I know what time it is? If I look at the map, can I see what time it is? No. 
It's still night time. There's another quest icon over there. I'm just going into random people's house. Find someone to buy me a drink. Always the same. They are today. I just tell just half how as many I like lies as my parents. Do I talk to you? Hmm. Hmm. I have things to do if you don't. Can you just pass time without having to rest in an inn? Like, I don't have money. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right on the roads, despite the hour. You know where to find me. So can I, can I not just sleep here? Oh, there's a ladder. So the inn is over there. That's where I want to go on the roof because there's actually a chest. But I can't get across this roof. Hmm. What's in here? Oh, a chest! Awesome! Multiple chests! Get in there! Inspired. I cannot wait to return beyond the rift and Oh, and it has a token. Oh ho! I got a thought we'd find one here. Fairy stone, nice. Grows. Interesting. I shall have to inform Boots. my own master of this. And a rapier, nice. So you're not able. Oh, you use a bow. Um, a rapier is for a fighter, I guess. I don't know. So let's see if the boots are gonna be something that improve for me. I don't think I own any boots. So this is Savant boots? Oh, that's what I found. Oh, therefore, I can't wear them? Are they For what vocation are they mage? Oh, that's awesome. Give it to uh, Buttsnack. And then Buttsnack can wear it. What an improvement. That is amazing. Like, we, we lose elemental resistance and... Um, I guess frozen, whatever, but um, this one is protecting us from sleep and silence, which obviously is very good for a mage, I guess. Very nice. Interested in my wares? Can I ring the bell? It's not a thing. Okay, how about that? Um... Is a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? Ah, excellent find. I have no idea where I am. I'm stuck. Oh, okay, here, chest. Throat cutter, that would be very good for a thief as well. Okay, it's morning now anyway, but it would be nice. see if we can't make our way over to it? It's like a proper chest. Of course we want to make sure we can make our way over. There we go, there's another chest. Nice. Good day, sir. What might you be looking 
could yon chest be hiding? I must know. Let us oh, there's a Baba in town. Will be rewarded. Let's see how that works. I think it's a Baba. It has scissors. Welcome, good sir. My services lie in the styling of hair, and should you so desire, I can help you find your truest self. So here's the thing. There, there's this, there's this, this, this little bit of a controversy here, yeah? So modify appearance requires an item, yeah? As far as I know, I don't know how you can acquire this item in-game, yeah? Now the problem is you can also buy this item, I believe, for $1.99 equivalent in the store, in the microtransaction store. Again, I don't know exactly how to do that. Now, there is people complaining about it, saying, like, you know, that shouldn't be in the game because it's not cool to have things like that that you can grind for in the game also for purchase. And a lot of people, there's obviously a lot of people say, oh, yeah, but, you know, this is the thing if you think about it. Yeah, the way it's currently implemented is you can grind for it, but you can also buy it. So... Of course, you know, the initial thought is like, oh, that's really cool that you can buy it because it saves me having to find it. Yeah. And uh, people who don't have a lot of time to play games 10 hours a day or whatever, you know, for them, it's very convenient. And that is absolutely true. However, my argument is this shouldn't be in the game in the first place. I should just be able to talk to her and change my appearance without the requirement of any item. Maybe gold, fair enough. Yeah, like the other items there, that is fair enough. And the reason I'm saying that is because the moment you put an item against that that you can buy in a cash shop, the temptation and the reality is that they will make it a pain in the ass to get these items. Simple as that. That way they entice you to buy it in the shop. Because why would they have an item you can buy in the shop that you can also find in game Make it easy to find in game because that is absolutely no point. So to me personally, I say to the people who argue the fact that, oh, but it's really nice that you can buy it because it makes it uh, handy for people who don't have time is it shouldn't be there in the first place. Simple as that. It should never exist. An item in game should never exist, um, you know, to buy in a shop. And um, that's the way it is. And, and that's uh, so I'm not going to talk a lot about the whole controversy things beyond that. But that is literally what this is about. Hope to see you and again. people who leave negative comments on this game because they don't like that implementation. I support that. That's their right. You know, and I'm totally agree with that. Uh, I personally wouldn't leave a negative review because of that. But I respect other people doing it because I, I get it. You know, it's not nice at all. So let's have a look and see if um... riding in an ox cart would be a welcome reprieve. It would allow us to save our strength, assuming we are not attacked. That is. There you go. You can't be respectful. You're just gonna have to stay in the corner with your hat on. You know, your little donkey hat. Enjoy, enjoy your donkey hat. So um... let's go and see if we can. Um... Such find out what happened to the West. We still haven't there rested, are useful so, ingredients to be I don't have money here, to I'll rest wager. right now. So oh, we might have to rest in the you. wild. How do I get there? How do I get out of the castle? I have to go down there again, I guess. Exactly. So they created a problem to sell you a solution. And, and that is my point. So, you know, but on the surface, it looks like, oh, that's really good that they did that. And it's like, yeah, but... That situation shouldn't exist in the first place. <laughs> so, yeah, I absolutely um, agree. It shouldn't exist, that problem. So we're heading northwest, and west is where we have to find those. Have guys. we purchased okay. all that we require? We ought um, well, I would like to rest at an inn, to be honest, but I don't really have the money right now because I was upgrading my weapons. Review the contents of our packs, just to be sure. That wasn't a homecoming I envisioned. Are you guys okay? Do you need any help? Would be in a bad way. What's this all about? Oh, okay. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. 
Okay. I thought these guys had a problem. They needed some. Oh, shit. There's something happening. Something going down. Goblins approach. I will protect you. Oh. Standing. Here. Strike with lightning on your side. Times must be tedious to challenge beasts to bow. Let's pick up some meat actually from the Oh crap, he's already dead. Good. Get any meat? At last, yes. The moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. Well, that's fine. You do that. Now, oh, what shit. might that be? Let us ponder how best to proceed. Oh, actually, I bet you there's a token in there. Whenever you see that that icon. That quest icon. Okay, there could be something up there, but let's have a look how we get into that castle. Maybe we can jump across that little tower. Oh. You're not going to attack me, are you? Are That's you okay? Not bothering me for no reason. Oh, okay. I won't. I will just loot. And go from there. Having more of these to hand ought to serve us well in battle. What say we pelt one at the next foe we encounter? There's the token. I knew it. So we're gonna have to find. Actually, do you know what? Um, come here. Can you guys come here? What is going on? You are nice and small. Um, no, actually, I'm gonna take butt snack. Hang on, my pawn. What is that? This arisen. Oh shit! That is what that music was. Holy crap! Oh, we're so dead. We're so dead. That is amazing. I love it. I, I completely forgot that they sing. That they do that. Oh my lord. They, look at this, they're taking them off the tower. This is so funny. Oh, nice. I, I just cannot do anything. We're just all falling asleep. That is awesome. It's so funny how these weak guys can so torn completely destroy us. Okay. These guys are weak as hell, but... We have no chance. They can't. They destroy us. Okay, I need. I need to get out here. Hang on a second. There we go. Okay, I got you. Let them come in here if they. Go. I shudder to imagine what would happen if we all nodded off. Okay, I need some healing. Certainly come here, come in I here. And we let them come to the door to us, and then we're gonna deal with them. I just need my pawn here. Can you go and get this pawn? Can you resurrect my pawn? must assess the situation. How many of us are still standing? We must need team, however we can. Let me get out and taunt them a little bit. I grant you roaring flame. There we are. Grateful 
There we go. Nice. Okay. Wow. This is how quick this can happen. This is insane. Okay, sorry. Now back to where we were. <laughs> we trounced our foe well and true. Hang on a second. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Can you go and fetch that token? Pick up the token. Okay, fine. I pick it up. But you should have really done that. Okay. Yeah, that was amazing. It's like the wolves. They're so weak and they're so easily defeated, the wolves. But, um... You you get so easily killed by two or three of them. They just rip you apart. They tear you along the ground. They don't give you a chance even to get a hit off, which is amazing. It makes you think more about your defensive stuff, I guess. Like, uh, what do they call them? De debilitations? Oh, you're already up here. Yeah, we need to find a campsite or something. Oh, yes. There we go. Ring of Awareness. Reduces accumulation of the wearer's sleep value. That might actually come in handy right now. <laughs> okay, let's go. This is a powerful weapon. A single bolt loose from it would carry tremendous lethal force. Tis a glad thing we happened upon this. Unleashing it during combat ought to fluster our foes. Oh, I have to go one more down. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Oh, what, what? thought we did everything already. There's something else here? Oh, there's a chest up there somewhere. Okay, let's actually see where it is. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, can I throw you this far? No, you will slide down on the mountain. Okay. There's a way up behind here. The creature's here. corpse will serve us well. I look forward to seeing your marksmanship. Okay, let's try this. Um, oh, I didn't buy it, did I? The the shield jump, the pull, the chimp, the, sh the the shield vault. I didn't buy it. You guys okay? Who are you? What are you doing here? Uh, let me talk to this person. Got some business with me, do you? Ooh, okay. Sexy mama. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. Yeah, let's continue on the path. Ingredients are plentiful. Oh, thereabouts. nice. There's a camp. That is awesome. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Let's clear the area. Make sure there's nobody there. Okay, I think it's pretty safe here. Put our feet up if uh, we I think so. so I, think, I think so. So equip skills was a camping. So that means we could equip the shield bash skill if we have it. I didn't buy it. Um, because I bought other things, uh, then we could equip it here, go back there, and pull vault up. And so, let's us. make a camp and actually properly heal up. Surely a rest can wait till after we've examined our surroundings. Uh, 
So I don't know how you can kick. Oh, cook. There we go. Nice. So beef steak. Early on, we couldn't cook. I wonder if it was because I didn't have the meat on us. <laughs> I love how you see that realistic meat. It's awesome. Oh, I'm all for swapping stories. But perhaps another night? I can scarce keep my eyes open. Agreed. Um, rest till we morning. Give ourselves a chance to recover ere we continue I hope we're going to be safe journey. here. We're not going to get raided. Okay, so did I cook that and... Um, Bee steak, the nutritious flesh of a wild creature, consumed to recover a small amount of health. Now, what's the cooked version? Is the cooked version gone into my inventory, or did we just eat it, I guess? Oh, we did actually eat it. Look, everybody has a buff here on their character. Um, if we go into status, we should be able to see it. I wonder if we can see the status here. No. Location. Okay, so it would be nice if the buffs that you have could be visible somewhere. That would be really nice. It seems that it isn't, so. Obtain an Archie stuff or crate stored. Yeah, we're gonna do that soon. Okay, this is awesome. So we're fully healed up now and we have those little buffs here. You can see those icons. It just seems that we can't see them really what they are and let's do a save here as well so um yeah we're three hours in so i'm gonna leave this uh, stream here tonight we're gonna come back with um either alone in the dark um tomorrow i want to try out an, uh, there's an indie game which um somebody brought my attention to it's an indie horror game called ethel um i'm trying to see if i can run it tonight um status condition is that what it is status condition Oh, there it is. Awesome. Thank you so much. I completely didn't see that. So we get augmented strength, allowing to create greater damage, augment defense, and stamina is expanded by decreased rate. So tonight we're probably going to be back with Alone in the Dark because that game is actually really awesome. Again, one of the games that I didn't think I would enjoy because of the way you have to play it, but it turned out that it's actually a hell of a lot of fun. And um, even though there's a lot of reading in it, like, but luckily it's voiced, so the game reads it to you. But what I think is really good is that whatever you get read uh, and the lore of the game is actually interesting. So it's not like one of those games where you can read a lot, but it's all really just meh. It, I think Alone in the Dark is really well done with the way it delivers the story. It's a bit cheap that you get story written, read rather than experiencing it a lot, but it, it works well. The way they did it uh, is actually not bad. So it's it's nice that it's read. If it wouldn't be read and you have to read it all yourself, I think that would be terrible because there's a lot of reading text, but it's, it works really well. So I'm looking forward to playing more of that tonight. So I'm going to leave this here. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you guys had a good time with the stream. Um, and I see you guys again. Um, if you could leave a like on the way out, that would be very much appreciated. And I see you guys uh, later tonight. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.